Bonjour everyone! I am Kate Lefsty Pitas, your speaker for today. Join me and let's travel to France, where we can see the famous Eiffel Tower and also known as the City of Love. I will discuss the intercultural communication of French people. Let's begin with communication style, mode, and practices. French people communicate formally. Thus, when a person is communicating with French people, language, gesture, and expression must be considered from the communication style. Communicating with French people appears as unfriendly, strict, organized, and professional because social status must always be considered. However, beneath the way French people communicate, there are hidden, complicated interpersonal relationships. Importantly, if person is not fluent in French speaker, then English is better to be used to avoid misunderstanding. Directness culture. Friends are diplomatically communicate in a direct way. This is due to the country's high degree of individualistic, which people tend to speak directly of what they think and feel. They value less about the face of the communication partner. French language can clearly explain the direction and form style of communication of French people. They also express the emotions direct. Greetings are important in France. Thus, it is necessary to greet others correctly to make good impressions. Handshakes are the norm in a business setting or with acquaintances. It is expected that you will shake hands with everyone present when arriving and leaving. Among friends and relatives, the most common greetings is the called la bis. This is called in English as kiss on both cheeks. The la bis consists of placing one stick against another's, making a kiss noise, then repeating it on the opposite side. A la bis is sometimes accompanied with an embrace. should remove their sunglasses and or hat when doing a lapis. Respect is shown in a verbal greetings by referring to the person, madam, if you are referring to the woman who are married. Monsieur, if you are referring to the man and mademoiselle, if you are referring to the woman who is not unmarried. Informal context or when speaking to elders, use last names and appropriate titles until you are invited by your French counterpart to move on to a first, ba na first name basis. It is important to acknowledge someone by their academic title if relevant. In a formal setting, addressing someone by their title always always precedes any conversation of request. For example, Madam, would you like a drink? Now, let's move on to the nonverbal and verbal communication. Communication style. The way French people or person communicate is often determined by their social status, level of education, their age, and which part of country they were raised in. Tone and choice of words will vary among these factors. Generally, they will communicate in French, but some may use their regional dialect. Direct communication. French tend to be very direct. Yes, like what I've said in the first slide in this presentation, French are very direct in communicating. One reason for this is the French language is quite precise. Thus, it is difficult not to be direct when using it. 
this direct style of communicating has often been mis misunderstood as rude by expatriates or tourists, especially if one is not used to forthrightness. forthrightness this direct communication style is seen by the French is diplomatically and polite. Debating The French generally dislike public disagreements or disputes, but enjoy a controlled debate. Logic will often dominate their arguments. People tend to extensively analyze the matter under decision discussion rather they may recognize the something illogical said by the opposition and informed rebuttal is generally appreciated compliments compliments are often appreciated but will usually be received by the humble denial instead of thank you formality in french there are different forms of expressions that indicate the level of courtesy and formality. The polite form of his speech is to address people in the formal, formal, formal form of you. Generally, it is considered disrespectful to, to use to when first meeting someone. If someone is older or someone is of higher social status, it is also common in Francophon countries. Now, let's move on the number. French people tend to use thumbs up to indicate okay. And making a circle with thumbs, thumb and index finger means zero in French. Physical contact. Touching during a conversation is accepted and considered a sign of affection only once you have reached a degree of familiarity. Young people will often engage in a public display of affection such as embracing or kissing. In an eye contact, direct eye contact is understood as a form of respect. It is considered to be extremely rude not to make and maintain eye contact. Facial expression French people do not express their feelings and emotions through their facial expressions. This is because French people are conservative, thus this kind of nonverbal practice is considered as rude. Personal space an arm's length of distance or a bit closer is an appropriate amount of personal space. In that picture, as we can see in the presentation, for example, in this case of smiling, French people only smile when it is necessary to, necessary to smile because smiling for no reason is considered as rude. Low consideration and high involvement. French is considered to be a low consideration and high involvement society. This is because French people favor interruption of communication partner. That's the end of our discussions for today. Thank you for listening.